The Mystery of the Yellow Glow, Unveiling Krigler Najjar Syndrome. Uh, imagine having a disease so rare it affects only one in a million newborns worldwide. This is the reality of Krigler Najjar Syndrome, an uncommon disorder that results from an enzyme deficiency in the liver. This enzyme, known as UDP glucuronosyltransferase, plays a crucial role in breaking down bilirubin, a substance produced during the normal breakdown of red blood cells. When this enzyme is missing or scarce, bilirubin builds up in the body, leading to severe jaundice. krigler najjar syndrome comes in two types, type I, which is more severe, and type 2, which is less severe. Understanding this disease is the first step in recognizing its signs and symptoms. Feeling forgetful and tired for no reason? Diagnosing a rare disease requires a keen eye and a thorough understanding. In the case of krigler najjar syndrome, the first telltale sign is often jaundice in newborns. Now, jaundice isn't uncommon in newborns, but what sets krigler najjar syndrome apart is the severity and persistence of this yellow discoloration. It's a manifestation of unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia, which is a fancy way of saying there's too much of a certain substance called bilirubin in the blood. Now, you might be wondering, how do we measure this bilirubin? Well, healthcare professionals use a blood test to measure the levels of unconjugated bilirubin. Typically, in type 1 krigler najjar syndrome, these levels range from 20 to 25 milligrams per deciliter, which is significantly higher than normal. This is why early diagnosis is so important. If left untreated, the excess bilirubin can deposit in the brain, leading to irreversible brain damage. So, while the signs may be invisible at first, spotting them early can make all the difference in the world. Early diagnosis is crucial to prevent irreversible brain damage. Ever wondered why some babies look a little yellowish? Symptoms can often be the first clue to a hidden disease. In the case of krigler najjar syndrome, the primary symptom is jaundice in newborns. This is a yellowing of the skin and eyes caused by high levels of bilirubin, a substance normally processed by the liver. However, with this syndrome, the liver's ability to process bilirubin is impaired. As the syndrome progresses, long-standing cases may even lead to liver cirrhosis. This condition, where healthy liver tissue is replaced by scar tissue, can drastically affect the liver's ability to function properly. Recognizing these symptoms early can lead to a better prognosis. The Epsicoli uh, epidemiology helps us understand the disease's impact on a broader scale. Now, let's dive into the numbers. krigler najjar syndrome is a rare condition indeed. It affects around 0.6 to 1 in 1 million newborns around the globe. To put it in perspective, if we were to fill 100 sports stadiums with newborns, only one or two might have this syndrome. That's how rare it is. As for the male to female ratio, since krigler najjar syndrome is an autosomal recessive disorder, it means that it affects males and females equally. The disease does not discriminate based on gender. When we talk about survival rates, it's important to note that with prompt diagnosis and appropriate treatment, individuals with krigler naja syndrome can lead fulfilling lives. However, the severity of the disease can vary, with type Y being more severe than type 2. Despite being a rare disease, krigler naja syndrome's impact on those affected is significant. Knowledge empowers us to make informed decisions. We've delved into the world of krigler najjar syndrome, a rare liver disease 
impacting newborns worldwide. This autosomal recessive disorder is characterized by severe hyperbilirubinemia, caused by a decrease in the activity of the enzyme UDP glucronosyl transferase. Diagnosis can be a challenge due to the syndrome's rarity, but early signs include jaundice in newborns and elevated levels of unconjugated bilirubin. In terms of epidemiology, it affects between six tenths and one in one million newborns globally. The male to female ratio is relatively equal, emphasizing the genetic nature of the disorder. While this syndrome is severe with potential complications like irreversible brain damage and liver cirrhosis, survival rates can be significantly improved with early detection and management. Phenobarbital therapy is one of the potential treatments that could be explored. Krigler-Najjar syndrome is rare, but understanding it is crucial for early detection and management. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.